all kinds of new tools in Resolve 18.5 beta, including the audio transcription. Let's let, check this out. One thing to mention is that this feature is only available in the paid version of Resolve. That's Resolve 18.5 Studio, which I highly recommend upgrading anyway, because it's great. It's a great deal. Here we have the project for our how-to video. This is from our pro workflow in Resolve class, which we just updated with all the little tidbits in the 18.5 beta. And let's take a look at the audio transcription. So how this works is you go into the media pool and you find a clip with dialogue. So this interview is gonna work just fine. This whole thing is about 10 minutes long. And we just gotta right click on this and go down to transcribe audio. And this will take a minute and kind of think about it. But once it's done, you'll have a transcription of everything in the interview, which is really convenient. And you can do some cool stuff with this. One, I mean, obviously you have this transcription. You can go up to this button right here and export this as just a text file. So you have the transcription just so you can kind of export a script like that. You can also select a piece of the script and do some various things with it. One thing you can do is make a sub clip. So I can just click on this and that will make a sub clip and add it to my media pool. And so I love Thai tea. Go ahead and hit create. And now we have a sub clip, which is just that part. So that's a nice way to just kind of keep some parts that you like. You could also select a part here and click on marker and that will add a marker with duration in between what he's saying. So here we have marker one right here in our clip. If I have this selected, I can also just play the in and out. Let's get one thing out of the way first. Thai iced tea is delicious. I love it. I can't get enough of it. So that's really convenient. But what I like is that you can take this and you can just throw this piece of this clip at the end of your timeline with append or insert it somewhere in the timeline with insert. So let's say I'm working from a script. I could go through here and search for each part of the script, right? We just click on this little search icon and we can type whatever we wanna search for. So I'll just type in Sam. So anytime he says his name, he says his name five times it looks like. So we'll just go through here and it'll highlight, my name is Sam and I make videos on YouTube. My name is Sam and I make delicious cooking videos for you right here on the internet. What's up, my name is Sam. What's up, my name is Sam. My name is Sam, I make delicious cooking videos. See, I'm thinking that we want the one, my name is Sam and I make delicious cooking videos for you right here on the internet. Today we're gonna to be making Thai iced tea. That sounds good. Now I can throw this at the end of my edit with this button right here, and let's take a look. My name is Sam and I make delicious cooking videos for you right here on the internet. And today we are gonna be making Thai iced tea. Okay. So that works. And so this is a really nice way to just be able to search for whatever you want. Let's type sugar. Maybe we want to find the part where he talks about sugar. So here's one, two, three. Slowly pour in probably way too much sugar and mix it gingerly. Yes. Slowly pour in probably way too much sugar. Boom. Okay, now we have that. Slowly pour in probably way too much sugar and mix it gingerly. So yeah, I can see this being really helpful if you're working from a script or if you're looking for a specific part in your video. And this feature as it is right now in the 18.5 beta, it's really useful and really excited about it. And I'm sure it's just gonna get better. I'm sure they're gonna add more features, but it's a very neat tool. What do you think about this audio transcription? What kind of features do you think should be added? Why don't you let me know down in the comments and we'll talk about it. And a little reminder, if you're just getting into Resolve, we have a course available now that goes over all the basics that you need to work in Resolve and make amazing videos. Make sure to check that out. We just updated it for the Resolve 18.5 beta. Very, very exciting. So that's really all I have for you today.